Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I am so excited for this one. This was long overdue and it was the perfect timing. Today we are going to be doing a BH Cosmetics haul. <laughs> so recently, around two weeks ago, they had this sale. They had 40% off select items and included in those items was their newest Zodiac Love Signs palette. This guy right here, which I have been eyeing since they released it i know they've now released like mini ones i'm not too sold on those ones but as far as these guys i do own the original one and i know you guys just saw me do a tutorial with that palette again <laughs> i've done two tutorials using the original palette it's this guy right here and i've used it for two separate videos and i will link both of them in the description below but this guy right here it's their latest full zodiac palette and it's the zodiac love signs palette so this is what she looks like on the inside and as soon as i saw the pictures of this palette i was just drawn to it i saw these pinks this pink and this gold up here i saw those colors and i was like i have to get that palette it was on sale for i got it for 18 dollars. its regular price is 24 dollars, i believe when it comes to bh cosmetics i will recommend you guys wait waiting for those sales. They constantly have sales on their website, so you are able to get those items for cheaper, basically. And you, I feel like with BH Cosmetics, there's no need for you to spend a lot of money, pay for the regular price of their items because they always have sales going on. So you are always, you always have different opportunities to get those discounts and get a bargain with these. And especially like right now, I spent $40 dollars on their website and i got free shipping which it got delivered in like a week and i also got a free gift i got this guy right here which is a little baggie it's, it's super adorable and it came with three of these guys three tubs of like loose glitter which was great and i will be going through all of the goodies that i got i'm trying out some new things i got some new brushes which i love their brushes and we are of course going to be playing with this palette I'm gonna be showing you swatches, going through every single thing, walking you through this eye look too, showing you everything that I did today to achieve this look. And yeah, that's what I have for you guys in store in this video. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I'd love to have you as part of this little group, this little beauty loving community right here on my channel. And without further ado, if you want to see how these products products perform, which products I got in this little haul, how to recreate this look, then please stay on and keep on watching. All right, guys, so we're gonna jump straight into the video. As you can see, I already have the base of my makeup done. I did foundation, I did concealer, powder, bronzer, uh, blush, and highlight, and there is only one thing missing, and that is, of course, the brows. And for brows, I purchased two of these guys, and this is the HD Brow Pencil uh, by BH Studio Pro. I bought two of them, and I thought it would be like a similar thing. I think I heard someone say that it was a very similar formula to my Rider Die, my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So that's why I purchased these ones. I was running low on my NYX brows. So I figured it was the perfect time to replenish that. So let's just hope that they are as good as those ones. If not, I'm gonna have to go do a NYX brow run. <laughs> so we're gonna use these guys today. And as far as the actual like component, it's very similar to my NYX Micro Brow Pencil the tip is super fine so we're gonna try this guy out and see how that works on my brows today as always i start brushing these bad boys up and then out and then just start filling them out following the natural shape of them i feel like doing brows and doing eyeliner on camera are the absolute hardest because it's hard to like really get focused on doing them while still getting like a good angle over there so i want to be like this close because i can't see from <laughs> from far up here but i really want you guys to see as well 
So far so good. I feel like the product is not super waxy. It's not super creamy that it's kind of like tugging. There are some products where you go in and start doing your brows and then when you want to go in once again to start filling out more you're like taking off the product and moving it around but this one i feel like once you set it um it looks like it's not going anywhere which is a really good sign the tip in it it's super fine so it's letting me do those hair like strokes right here in the center. The color is perfect for me. I grabbed the shade um, Brunette, which in the sticker I kind of got scared because it looks super like a brownie, almost like an olive -y brown. Um, so I got kind of like freaked out and thought it wasn't gonna be like the right color. But once I'm putting it on on my eyelids, it's the perfect color for me. All right, so that is the finished brow. This is the before, this is the after. And I love this pencil. I, I'm pretty sure it is a very close match to my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This one's a little bit more cool toned, which I actually prefer this one because in some of my videos I've noticed that when I go like super up close like right now and I'm doing my brows, I do notice that the NYX one is a little bit too warm for me and the next shade darker would be a black. So I don't wanna do that, so that to, that's why I go for the espresso color. But this one, um, the BH Studio Pro one, this one is a cooler tone and I feel that it looks better for my color of brow. So I'm actually liking this one, the BH Cosmetics one even better as far as the color goes because the experience, the tip of it, the consistency, the, the shape that it will give you, the formula, all of that is exactly the same. The, these two are a very similar product. So if you are able to find your color, your exact color match with the BH Cosmetics Brow Pencil, go for it. You're, you will not be disappointed. And this one is actually cheaper than the NYX one. So, so far so good for our very first BH Cosmetics new product test. So I'm now going to go ahead and just do the other brow. All right, so those are the finished brows and I can already tell that this brow product is gonna be a win. It's gonna be a favorite of mine and it's gonna stick around right there on my little cup of goodies, my everyday makeup pile. So I love it and I definitely do recommend it. And again, wait for those sales because you are gonna be able to grab it for super cheap. So now we're gonna dive into the good stuff, the eye stuff, and I'm gonna show you all of the goodies that I got. I even got a super exciting freebie in this in this little haul of mine and the very first thing that I bought were these brushes right here and these are the blending eye trio three-piece brush set these are normally seven dollars but I got them for seven dollars <laughs> so I got them for a regular price I just love BH Cosmetics brush I have a lot of them I purchased a lot of them um, throughout the months throughout last year and they've become some of my favorites. I love, of course, how affordable they are, but they are in a great, great quality. I use them often. You guys know, if you've been watching a lot of my videos, I use them often and they just give amazing results and for a super affordable price. So I grabbed this one and this one was from a brush set that I've never purchased before and they were seven bucks and we, we get these three and these are actually, they feel nice nicer than the ones that I have currently. These are the ones that I currently own. So it's this guy. I also have this one, which works great for like concealer and stuff. I have these ones, which I constantly use for um, the inner corners of my eye, for the lower lash line to really smoke out the lower lash line, for detailing stuff on, on top of my lids and things like that. And they work amazingly. This guy, you guys know that it's one of my absolute favorites. I actually have three of them <laughs> right here. So I use them a lot. I use them often every single day, actually. So BH Cosmetics brushes are absolutely amazing and for a great, great price. I can't emphasize that enough. So we are going to be using these ones today. This one I'm kind of feeling a little bit iffy about. I, it does feel a little bit denser than this one right here. So I am going to use it just to like fluff up some color all over the crease to start out with. Maybe use 
this one to pack some shimmers on my lid and we'll see if we can use this one maybe to do some eyeliner on the bottom and now i'm gonna show you the free gift that i got for my order i can't remember what was the minimum like spending that you had to do to get a free gift but this was a 13.65 dollar value and i got it for free as a freebie with my purchase and this is the bh cosmetics royal affair three piece glitter set so they're just like three little tubs of loose glitter this is the package right here and i don't think i'm gonna use them today in this video i think i will save these for another video because the palette that i got that's gonna be the main star of the show and you'll see in a second why so this is the little baggie that it comes in it's super adorable it's like all sequins pink and silver sequins with a little puff on the end and then the zipper right here says bh cosmetics on it and then you open her up it does have some tissue in here here. and then you get three little tubs of glitter in there you get a red one and this is in the shade lit and then you get a black almost it's a brown black color it's absolutely beautiful i feel like with a dark like a super black smoky eye and then you put this on top of it it's gonna look super beautiful it's like a very um brown metallic brown color with black glitter and it is in the shade warm espresso it definitely reminds me of like coffee it's a beautiful color i will unwrap them in a second and then the third color that you get in here is just a straight up gold glitter and this is in the shade gold rush so those are the glitters and the freebie that i got in this order in this haul but yeah i will save these for another video and just do a specific look with them because the star of the show is the palette that i got in this order and the whole reason that i even went to the bh cosmetics website when i saw that they had a sale going on was to get this palette and this is the zodiac love signs um, eyeshadow palette it's this guy right here and i know you guys just saw me using the original one the zodiac palette the original zodiac palette was this one right here and you just saw me um last week doing an eyeshadow tutorial with this guy so now we want to follow along with the new zodiac palette and as soon as i saw it revealed i was just in love and drawn to it because when you open her up let's take out this leaf right here this is the packaging like the actual packaging of the palette and this is what the colors look like they are absolutely stunning and when i first saw this palette i was immediately drawn to these two shades right here they look absolutely beautiful of course the camera does not do it justice and i'm also drawn to this guy right here so i just love the beautiful combination of colors i feel like they've done a beautiful job in these zodiac palettes so just doing a just a wonderful combination of colors overall because you get a lot of different colors in here you get some purple some pinks some brown nude shades to start out with but when it comes to the metallics on the outside if this is the same formula as their original i'm just I just know I'm gonna fall in love with it. I can't wait to use this pink right here too. I love that it's like not too bright of a fuchsia. It's just like a beautiful hot pink. I love it. So we are going to dive into this one today. All right. So once again, I'm not quite sure where I want to take this eyeshadow look today. Um, so we're just going to wing it and see how it goes. I do know that I want to do a cut crease moment once again, like every other video now, because I'm obsessed with doing cut creases and just getting better at them. So I feel like the very first color that I want to use is this guy right here that's under cancer. This guy right here. I feel like I'm going to start that out and I'm going to use my new brush for that. And I'm just going to fluff it up all over the crease and we're just going to fluff that out so far the brush i'm loving it it's putting the color on and it's making it super easy 
to blend out. This one is a little bit denser than my other brush, so I feel like it's doing an even better job at just blending out those edges super effortlessly. And just keep packing it on and dragging it up high because I do want to add another color even lower and closer to my crease. So you're gonna see that I'm taking it quite high, almost up to the brow bone. So I'm now switching to another brush. I'm cleaning it out. I'm gonna go into this color right here and I'm gonna go, pigment is there. I'm gonna go lower and closer to that crease. And now to marry those two colors, I'm gonna go in with the color in between. It's this guy right here underneath Leo. And I'm gonna literally gonna take it and put it in between those two shades just to add a transition shade in there and make a smooth gradient. So now what I'm gonna do is go back to that Virgo shade right here, that darker orange color. And I'm just gonna use it with a smaller blending brush like this one right here. And I'm just gonna go over all over the crease and even a little bit lower than that and just go to town and pack on that color in there because that's where we're gonna go ahead and cut our crease in a second. I'm even gonna go to that inner corner right here. I really want a good contrast between the lit colors that we're gonna use and that crease. I want every single color to show up in the end and make it as pigmented and as vibrant as possible, which with the quality of these shadows, it's not gonna be a big problem, as you can see. And if you can see that that color, this kind of like yellow, it's kind of like disappearing on you because you took that orange color a little bit too high, you can go ahead and clean your brush. I am using the Morphe M506 and you can go back to that yellow color, add a little bit more on there and just really top off the excess a little bit and then just really pack it on first, like stipple it in there and then clean it up clean up that brush once again and then really just diffuse those edges and repeat the process as needed until it shows up the way that you want it to. You really wanna make it noticeable too. And just really take your time to blend things out. I feel like with eyeshadows, that's the key to getting those like really cool Instagram looks. You wanna take your time with it. I feel like it's super easy to get kind of like impatient and want to rush over things, but it's like a painting. It takes time and just a lot of attention to detail. All right, so now what I'm gonna do really quick is just cut the crease. You guys already know and have seen me do this multiple times. I'm just gonna take my cut crease stamp, a little concealer, and just go ahead and go to town and cut that crease. So after that, what I'm gonna do is go over the outer V of my eyes with this guy right here, this color, and just deepen things out on that outer V. And just dipple that color right there first. I think I wanna go a little bit darker than that, so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here that's right underneath Sagittarius. And then I want to start, I really want to start playing around with those shimmers. Let's start out with this one right here. Let's just go for the one that's been calling my name all this time, Gemini. Grab that on one of these guys, the, the guys that I mentioned previously, and this is the BH Cosmetics 105 brush. I'm gonna spritz that a little bit with some MAC Fix Plus, and then I'm gonna grab that shade and use it right 
here and holy smokes, I love it. And then right next to it, I think I'm gonna go in on the inner portion of my lids with the shade Aries. Do the same thing, spritz my brush. I feel like this brush really gets like all of the pigment out of those shadows and really makes them super vibrant on your lid. So that color is there. And now I feel like I want to do something else. What if we took this guy, the Eyelight um, Liquid Shadow Cream Shadow in the shade Waterproof Eye Color in the shade Psych. And what if we take this guy and use it in between these two shades and see what that does. So yeah, something I forgot about these guys is that you have to like layer it on, kind of like stipple it into the eyelid, dab it out with your fingers, and just know that when you dab it into with your fingers, it's gonna lose a little bit of that um, opacity to them. I love how it's just making like a smooth transition to to these two colors that I had going on. So now I'm gonna go back into Gemini and I'm just gonna pack that on right here just to bring some of that color back. I'm just gonna tap it right in here, almost to the outer V. And I'm gonna go back into Aries and bring some of that color back on the inner corner. So now that we are done with that, we are going to, I'm gonna go into the other shade that caught my eye from the very beginning and it's Cancer right here. And I'm gonna use that for my inner corners. And then I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush once again, and I'm gonna go back and actually use Virgo right here and use that on my lower lash line. You're pretty much just connecting your top lid to your lower lid. And then I'm gonna use a dense brush, something like this, and I'm gonna use that and go into this pink right here, this beautiful pink, and I'm gonna use that on my lower lash line. I really wanted to use another matte. Check that out. And I'm gonna use that and pack it on my lower lash line. I know I just did pink previously on my channel, but this is way too pretty. <laughs> Should I go for the teal for that aqua blue one? Should I? Should I not? Am I gonna ruin things? Probably. I'm just gonna go in with this color right here underneath Capricorn. I really want to use this one. Okay, so I have it on my brush. Really make sure that that shows up. Oh, that's beautiful actually. So I'm adding more of that hot pink. I almost don't want to do my lower lashes just so that the color stays that vibrant and noticeable, but we'll just leave it as is. And the last thing that I want to do to this look, if we can add any more colors, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and just use that same blending brush, blend the lower lash line out. So this is what it looks like so far, and I feel like I'm gonna leave it like this. I don't know how I feel about it, but we're gonna leave it as is. I feel like I used as many of the colors as I could in this palette. I'm gonna go off of camera really quick because my camera is about to die, my battery is about to die really quick. I'm gonna go off of camera, finish out the other eye, do some lashes, do some liner, mascara, and then we'll be right back. I'll finish my lips too, and just do a final roundup out of all of these products. All right, guys, so this is the final look. These are the eyes all done. I really hope you guys like this look. I did get rid of that teal um, portion on the inner corner right here. I thought it was like way too much and I had way too many things going on in this eye look, but overall, I really, I do think that I gave you a good overview of the entire palette. I love this palette. It is the exact same 
same formula as their original zodiac palette the mattes are super bold super pigmented you are gonna get that effortless vibrancy in those shadows they're gonna pop and you are going to love this palette like i've mentioned before really do wait for those sales to come up when it comes to bh cosmetics because they're always gonna have great affordable deals in their products and i'm just an overall fan i love their products so much these shadows were just effortless to put on and as you can see they stand out and they are beautiful now when it comes to the highlights these guys right here i will say that they are not as opaque as i would like them to be when it comes to this shade that i use today the shade is psych i did have to work with it a lot to get it to be opaque and even it would be uh, it would sheer out if you tap it on with your fingers it is going to sheer out but when you use a brush or you use the doe foot applicator in here you are able to get a little bit more even coverage but i do recommend using these guys over a shimmer just to give it that extra pop of shimmer and metallicness in there but once these are on they are super long lasting so they are not going to move they're not going to crease they stay put so i will give them that and for the price they were around three dollars for me yeah for me they were on sale and they were 392 each so you can't beat the price they're really good again if you wait for those sales you are going to be able to get these for super cheap the brushes i'm always going to recommend bh cosmetics brushes they have some beautiful designs on there they have beautiful sets if you are starting out in makeup they have beautiful makeup brush sets like complete say sets face and eye brushes and you are going to be able to get your feet wet with those if you are starting out as a makeup artist they have great quality affordable prices and they're they just do a beautiful job at blending i've had my bh cosmetics brushes for years now these guys right here these guys i've had these for years i've been using them for a long time and they've never gave me any issues the print the letters in here do um fade out and like this one doesn't have any letters in there but it, it it's not a deal breaker for me they are super affordable you can get like a full set for around 30 dollars you can get these eye brushes you can get them for like seven or eight dollars so they're super affordable and they work great so yeah that was my entire haul and try on for bh cosmetics i saw this sell they had like 40 percent off a lot of different items including this palette right here which i had been eyeing for a long time so i decided it was perfect timing for me to go into a bh cosmetics haul and try it out on camera for you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i had so much fun doing it and just sitting down and creating some some makeup for the youtubes <laughs> and that is it for this video you guys i really hope you're having a good one wherever you are night and day hope you have a great one stay warm warm if you are in one of those states where it is negative 36 degrees in the mornings how do you do it it's it's in the 30s right now in arizona so we're not used to that kind of coldness so i'm trying to stay warm at least this is a good time for me to film because the lights keep me warm <laughs> but anywho aside of all of that i really hope you guys are staying safe out there hope you guys are having a wonderful day i want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you for spending some of your time right here here on my channel and hopefully I will see you right here on my next video. <laughs> Bye guys!